Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, welcome back. So Jen and I were watching Mulan the other night. We got kind of caught up in the social media buzz around the movie, all kinds of people uh, tweeting and whatever, just comments everywhere. So we we're like, let's just watch this ourselves and see what we think. Yes, not to mention I'm a big fan of the original uh, cartoon. Of course. <laughs> anyway, while we were watching it, we thought, hey, we're going to do a series on Chinese tea and tea culture from a historical perspective. This might be a great way to start it out. Absolutely. Even though around Mulan's time is not the beginning of Chinese tea history, it is the beginning of Chinese tea culture. So that will be a really interesting uh, starting episode for our series, I think. Yes, a very interesting time period indeed. So if you're new to the channel or you haven't already, please click that subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel grow. And um, also click the notification bell so you'll know whenever we make a new video. We cover all kinds of topics from how to brew, how various teas are made, travel logs in the Chinese tea regions, all kinds of great stuff related to Chinese tea and tea culture. I'm sure you'll love it. So the tea we're having today is Bayan Qilan. Oh yeah. Yes, it's a oolong tea. It's one of my favorite teas. I'm sure many of you have heard me rave about this tea as a croissant in a cup, but I have to admit, that's not why I picked this tea today. There's <laughs> actually a part in the movie, and I even mentioned it while we were watching, didn't yes. I? Where the, they show Mulan's village, and it's like a village that we saw when we were visiting China in South China in Fujian. Uh, it's called a Tulo. Correct Tulo? Me? A yes. Tulo village, which is an inward facing circle. Mm. And it re completely reminded me of Pinghe, the village where we saw it. You can actually check out the vlog video. I'll put the link down in the description for you guys, or maybe even up here. <laughs> anyway, I knew at that moment, okay, if we, we're gonna have that tea with this video. Oh. I smell the roasty from here. Before right. even the lid was there, I could already smell that creamy, buttery roasty, that croissant in a cup flavor <laughs> that I've grown to love. Absolutely. This is a killer. The roasting on this tea is absolutely perfect. It's a great fall tea, I would say. Mm. Really oh. warming. Yeah, I, I agree 100%, but for me, this is Anytime. a, this is a Probably. four season tea big time. That's right. So what do you think of the movie? Right, okay, so. Because we actually read a little bit everywhere, as we mentioned. Yeah. So I was wondering, do you agree with some of the Yeah, I guess reviews? full disclosure, a lot of the reviews Jen saw were pretty harsh. So we're like, let's just watch it ourselves and find out. Yeah, the Chinese side seemed to be pretty harsh on pretty the movie. Harsh, right? And uh, so my impression was this. It was a fun movie. Uh, mm -hmm. Overall impression, mm -hmm. right? Pretty fun movie. Some cool scenes. Uh, fun to watch. I didn't end the movie and wish... I had those moments of my life back. It was totally fine and entertaining. I think it's a, also not a Disney classic. Like it's no yeah, Fantasia, yeah. it's not an Aladdin. For me, that's a movie I can go back and watch and it's funny and it's similar in that I it's really, also a historic legend. Right, mm. I really enjoy watching it as it's the color, you know, the image of the cinema. I quite enjoy mm. that what, oh, landscape, almost like, like right, the Nat Geo kind of a yes, level. beautiful. Yeah, so I really like that part of it. For sure. Yeah. And also for me, they use a lot of uh, uh, Chinese actors and actresses. Many of them, when I watch their uh, movies, ever since I was a kid, you know? Oh yeah, totally. I had a favorite one that popped in on me. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, did you choke? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't choke. Anyway, that reminded me that Donnie Yen was one of my favorite features in the movie. So Absolutely. If you don't know who he is, he played like kind of the leader or the general of their little army unit. Um, but he's also a super awesome kung fu actor. He's absolutely obsessed with the movie Ip Man. The Ip Man series are great. Those are four of his great movies. He has tons. He has a long career in kung fu movies though in China. Um, and the even longer even longer career, I think so. The Emperor Jet Li, Li Lianjie, oh, yeah. is one of my favorite kung fu stars. I watch his movie like his. Kung Fu movie in the 90s, those Hong Kongs, uh, Huang Fei Hong, lots of classics. I, I watched totally them over and him. over. So it's a really like, uh, when I see this, and of course the actress Gong Li and the stunning Im Hai. Gong Li? Who is, who, I don't know her at all. What was she, she in the movie? She is the, the bird. The bird lady. The bird <laughs> the witch? lady? The witch. Oh, mm. oh she yeah, a, she was badass. Yes, I, she is a very famous and uh, 
a great actress.、Mm. So I just love that, and of course,、uh, Liu Yifei, the、uh, the leading actress,、uh, stunning.、Oh. Like she's just stunning. Right,、it's、not、so、a gung fu one. To... No, she's not a real gung fu. No, she's just a right, right. No, but it's just so pretty. I just look at her and I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> So overall, like with so many gung fu people, I did find the fighting a little mad, like a little.、Mm. But I guess some people may disagree with me because, it, in retrospect, it wasn't bad. But I've been on a diet lately of watching tons of Chinese kung fu movies、mm. from like the eighties and nineties. So the fighting in those is mind blowing, and it's all like real, like you know, they're real. This is the、uh, the, the 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 technique. If you like a kung fu movie, you will find those.、Uh, Uh, non kung fu stars when they fight, the technique is using super slow mo or、mm. max、uh, like focus on a little detail of the move. While you have when you have a real kung fu star, they show you the whole move because it's crisp oh, and、uh, yeah. powerful. It's crazy, right? So that part when we watch that as a、uh, both our. Uh, kung fu fans, we were not satisfied yeah, about that. But、part. I think, but, in but it's all not honesty, a kung fu what, movie. Yeah, either, right? and it wasn't bad. The choreography yeah, and the sequences yeah. weren't bad. I think it's just because of our current diet made that a little bit less、um, less awesome than it maybe could have been.、Mm. The other thing I really missed, I have to say, was Eddie Murphy. Oh right! I totally miss. I don't know. You guys might think I'm crazy. Maybe he was hated when in the. This is from the original Mulan cartoon, and、okay. Eddie Murphy had the rule as I think it was Mushu the little the dragon. The little dragon. Oh my god,、it's、he was so、awesome. cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't like how they just move that. That was my favorite part of the movie too. Like,、uh, right? you know, like my early times when I first learned that Disney or Western humor.、Yeah. And I really loved that element to make the movie lighter rather than,、mm. you know, overly educational. Right. It really did have that sort of seri- more serious tone because of the absence of the lighthearted comedy. I felt like they tried to bring some in, but it really didn't. It didn't make me laugh like really、yeah. hard, like like Eddie Murphy would have. And、um, <laughs> yeah. And and the、uh, the other thing I found super weird. Speaking like, see, I、uh, I'm so. Chi- Yeah, chi. So in the movie they call it chi,、um, chi. So、uh, maybe we can throw the character up or whatever、mm. in the pinyin spelling. But、uh, this, I'm no expert in the concepts of chi, but I, I still, be, I think I've been around Chinese tea culture and you know yourself. And you your also mom, do meditation. I do meditation. I'm not again. I'm not an expert, but the way they use chi in the movie was really even for me. I'd love to know what you guys thought, but for、mm. me it was very off-putting. It always almost felt like it was the Force in Star Wars, which is not really quite what Chinese Qi is all about at all. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea of what that meant, either. It's just、right? a random suddenly throw out this word. You laughed a couple times when they were throwing it out, like <laughs> awkward. Really, yes, awkward. Awkward.、Really, really. I was talking to him like it's just like when if somebody as a Chinese who don't know Westerner just think. Oh, they eat steak and randomly talk about steak. It's just that awkward. Right, that、Feels、person that doesn't. Ha- he doesn't know steak. Right. Right. It would be like, what do you mean? You don't know steak. Just、uh, awkward. But on the other hand, if you have a look at the whole movie, there's no history fact. Like, they totally ex- ignore the whole history thing. Oh. I know, like it's a it's an entertaining movie. Like a Disney movie is not intended to be watched like a documentary or a te-、right. history textbook that I can learn the histories. But、uh, it's、uh, how messed up with the、uh, the themes and、uh, the elements. It really、wow. makes me feel if they are gonna make a Say、uh, American independent、uh-huh. war or civil war, you probably wouldn't put an iPhone or skyscraper、right. in the scene. That's that funny you say that because while、well, the T thing really jumped out at me, be, probably because of my you know because I know you, <laughs> I didn't. I thought you know this is a this is actually based on an actual poem, right?、Uh, the Ballad of Mulan. The Ballad of Mulan. So、yeah. I did think that there would be a little bit more, like it would be pretty, oh, like at least somewhat tight, 
towards those details. So I think that's one of the reasons. It's a little bit painful for me to watch it. And it's funny because I didn't have that expectation from the cartoon whatsoever. But、mm-hmm. when I'm watching a, the real one, I think, and I wonder if you guys feel the same. But I felt like maybe this is a, a real capturing、person? the time period. Right, you know? and like, because it's, it's acted by a real person, yeah, yeah. you kind of expecting、yeah. something like that. But no, no, there's tons of mistakes,、wow. geography, history,、okay. uh, basic knowledge of、uh, Chinese ancient war. It's just、uh, all tons of a run of that. But I bet、uh, you're not the only one. Tons of people are on your boat. The when they watch the movie,、right. they probably feel like, oh, that's how Chinese.、Uh, Say drink tea at that time, or oh, right, that's right. how they uh, uh, do the war at that time. That's what they、right. wear, or that's、uh, mm. how they live in the village, or something. Yeah, so I think I think that might、right. be very misleading. If right, yeah. So I was aware that the whole these both of the movies were based on some kind of Chinese legend, this Ballad of Mulan. But、yeah. I didn't realize it was like. It's more than just a story or something. So, Ballad of Mulan is a like a little poem, but used to have a song, the music with it. So it's more like just the lyrics of a song. Okay. Okay. But this、uh, song or poem、uh, kind of uh, uh, tells a story of this girl Mulan and how she turned from a normal little girl and had to.、Uh, Replace her father, go to the war、right. for decades, and then come back with glory or come back su- successfully. Right, right, kind of the gist、right. we see in the movie. At、Absolutely. least some of those large details.、Mm-hmm. <sighs> so the time of this、uh, ballad and the story of Mulan happens in the dynasty called、uh, Bei Wei,、mm-hmm. which has a more like more. Uh, commonly known, it would be、uh, the northern and the southern dynasty. So in this time, basically, what you will see was lots of wars and unstables and chaos. And、uh, there are two dynasties: one in the north, one in the south. Okay. And that's why we call that、uh, the northern and the southern dynasties. So the one in the south、uh, is the one that.、Uh, Kind of carries the、uh, traditional Han culture、right. and migrated south. But in the north, that、uh, dynasty was built by nomads. Right. While、right. the dynasty system and the written language, they're all copying the Han culture. Okay. And、uh, if you move that a little bit north, you will see the、uh, in the movie also shows the. The people called Rou Ran. Right, right. The attackers. So the the the, 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 bad, the even more nomad nomads. Right. So and and as a matter of fact,、uh, the people in the northern in Bei Wei dynasty,、mm-hmm. those nomads and the Rou Ran people actually they share the same ancestor. Okay, so this is like I'm making faces at the camera a little <laughs> bit because this is pretty complicated. Right. So and this was kind of a little bit lost in the movie. Yeah,、um, because even absolutely lost. Like we、say. started out, right? The the Tulo that we saw is actually from the south, but this is not. So from what you're saying, that's a whole different kingdom or a whole different dynasty. Absolutely. There was a south. So let me try and I'm trying to get my brain around this, but let's just. Me, I'm going to use a weird metaphor. Hopefully, you guys can. <laughs> I have this habit sometimes, but forget everything you know about Canada and America. I'm going to try and use our continent、uh, to kind of break this down. It's so, actually a great. Okay, so great. I'm just trying to keep it all straight because I now have to transpose from China. So let's say you've got a, a band of Canadians decide that they want to attack America. And they attack successfully. They grab some of America. They can't grab all of America. The northern part of America. Yeah,、like. so they, that's it, right? They grab the let's say they grab the northern part of America, and there's a, some of the southern Canadians are responsible for this, and they set up a new kingdom or whatever, and they call it、uh, Can America.、Um, and, uh, Americano. Americano, <laughs> right? America, Canada. Oh. oh. Amer- okay, so they set up Americano. Right. Right, which is this new kingdom. Okay, south of Americano is America. Yeah. yeah. We've got Americano, but we still have the rest of old. The old time Canadians are still up north. Kind of. So、yeah. these Canadians are related to the Americanos. Far ancestors. And let's be clear too: the Americanos. So the North Dynasty is a mixture of those nomadic people who、mm-hmm. are historically nomadic people,、mm-hmm. and there are still some South Dynasty type people, Han people. 
mm-hmm. Americans in my menopause. Yes. So yes. I've got that. Okay. That's so, right. They live together and wow. they were married together or something, but right, um, right. they coexist in that dynasty. Okay. So you would Albeit have people. Maybe tumultuously, sometimes clashing, sometimes. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And you will notice that there are people who carry the old, uh, the Canadian culture. Right, right. Who live in Canadian so culture way. So still have maple syrup. That's right. <laughs> For example. <laughs> while while you have some uh, who indigenous American people who still live in the American way, or they already start to right, right. have exchanges. The Native Americans are still like Americans start to have maple syrup right. kind of thing. So exactly. that's what's exactly. happened okay. in that zone in the dynasty where Mulan lives. Of course, Mulan is a, a legendary figure. There is no true history proof right, that she right. exists. So let's just assume there is a girl who did this. Her right. name might be Mulan, might be A B C D E. Right. <laughs> Ping. Ping. <laughs> okay. So the interesting thing about this ballad is, besides it's very poetic and rhythmic and actually really catchy. We all recited it in school when we were kids, and even today I can still remember most of it. Oh wow! Yeah, it's a really like a really great lyrics, I would say. Wow. So, uh, but besides that, it also provides a kind of a, some insight for us to look at how people live at that time. Right. It really enrich our knowledge about okay. that. Okay, so it's not just pure fiction. It's not fantastical fiction. When this ballad was, or I guess discovered, either rediscovered or maybe just passed down over generations, it give you insight into actual history. Mm. Okay. And in the, the ballad, yeah, in the ballad, it actually depicts a perfectly a little girl, a girl's image of who is a Maricano, <laughs> I would say. So oh, she, okay. Who is those uh, North Dynasty people? Yeah, but leave a Han style uh, life. Right. For example, at the beginning of the ballad, it was talking about how Mulan was weaving uh, at the window. So weaving is a quite a, I would say traditional a kind of a, down, right? you yeah, like a place, farming, cultural farming culture thing, right, not right. a nomad thing. Mm-hmm. However, her family is also on the uh, uh, army list. Okay. Which, according to that dynasty's uh, uh, rule, they are they have to be a nomad, the race or the people. Right. They're to from be able, the nomadic absolutely. lineage. They're not Hun. Because in Americano, we've got mm. the Hun lineage, or in the North Dynasty, <laughs> we've got the Hun people who lingered, yeah. which she's not one of, and we've got those nomads who are settled down now, living in a Hun way. So she's and one that's of those. Her. Yes. Okay. And okay. that's really normal for. Those girls to ride a horse, right. do archeries—they're uh, wow. pretty active. So that's interesting because in both of the both of the shows, the old cartoon and this one, they really play the. They really show how shocking and unacceptable, naughty. They, you know, they even make her like she's a very naughty girl. But mm. actually, in that time, this is perfectly normal for a girl that's to really ride normal. horse, shoot an arrow, and all that jazz. Right. It's not normal to join an army and pretend right. to be a guy, but of to course, ride course. a horse and stuff. Is that's mm-hmm. what they do. Right. Yeah. And actually, um, there are so many little details in the ballads that tell you a lot of uh, how people live and the facts about the history uh, that uh, during that time, like how she went to buy horse. By horse accessories, mm-hmm. and uh, how, but at home she already have the armory and the swords, right? Mm-hmm. And that's uh, how things work at that time. The government doesn't provide you the horse and you, or the right. armory. You come okay. with yourselves. Right, BYO so, horse. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that tells you a, uh, not only tells you, but a co-proves. Uh, which dynasty, which time she was in. Right. That's how you work. Old times, the government would take care of all of those. Right. Right. And they also talk about uh, which uh, the which location of the market she goes in in the west. She buys this in the north. She buys the different things. In the ballot, right? In the ballot. Because uh, you're saying that, and I'm like, don't remember anything about no, that. No, no, it was in the ballot. That right. kind of right. gave us an insight about the. The, the how this village, how this market right. was set up, the rules at that time. Yeah. And there's a scene of the rabbit, which was uh, like, uh, I recognize it right away because I know the ballad. It was the ending of the ballad talking about how female and male uh, rabbits running together. You cannot tell which one 
which ah, sex they are. So it's a little bit like a um, callback. Do you call a, that a callback? symbol of what just happened with her life? Yes, right? and also refer to the ballad as the movie. Right. So in the movie, it was a, like a shout out to the actual ballad. Right. Because you the, thought that, that was like a why suddenly. Oh yeah, I just thought that was a, a fun scene to show her being naughty, riding a oh. horse, which she wasn't being naughty. She was just being a normal northerner girl riding right. her horse with the two rabbits. But so this, just want to understand. So that is the ending of the ballad. Yeah. So we, we had it right at the beginning almost of the movie. <laughs> right. Right. But I caught this, the symbology of the male female rabbit is pretty interesting because mm. it's kind of like how her life was when she's running yes. with the male rabbits. Yes. Right. You can't tell. Yes, absolutely. Mm. That's pretty, give me a little goosebumps. That's pretty uh, nice writing. Yeah, can... it's uh, interesting that uh, the movie captures some, refers some elements to the ballad, but a lot of, uh, uh, I think the fun f history facts and elements of the ballad wasn't fully reflected in the movie. Right. There was also a part where they were drinking tea, so I guess tea was pretty normal around this time. Um, actually not. Mm. I just love the butteriness. I don't know if people think that's a weird description mm -hmm. or not, but I always feel like this is like a, like just like a pastry, just like a croissant. I don't know. Right. I'm stuck on that metaphor for this tea. I just love how soothing it is, especially after so much talk. Mm. And you're <laughs> right. It, while it's a four season tea for me, I really do see how it can be an autumn warming, warm, fuzzy blanket kind of tea. Really nice that way. Right. Take a tea break. Yeah. So, no. So, no. <laughs> we had so, to take a tea break. I was so shocked. <laughs> so in the Northern and Southern Dynasty times, mm -hmm. uh, you know, tea has already transitioned from uh, medicinal use to a simple beverage. So people okay. do drink tea. People did drink tea around uh -huh. that time. Okay. And the importance about that uh, era is uh, uh, there are more cultural implications to tea, meaning all the religions, uh, all the religions at that time are Confucius, Taoism, and um, okay. what's Buddhism? The Buddhism, that's right. <laughs> All the religions are uh, integrating uh, tea in their uh, practice and uh, giving them more meanings. Uh, for example, for Confucius, they start to take tea as a symbol of um, some people take tea as a symbol for their uh, personality, character, okay. as uh, they're living a very frugality lifestyle. Oh, frugal. Frugal. I thought you were going to say the opposite because now tea is such a fancy beverage. We kind of, at least like tasting great tea and stuff right. nowadays. And even you have those. Later um, on, it did you have change. those imperial teas, right? But so in this time, it was yeah. the dead opposite. You're That's showing right. that you're a little bit more down to earth. Absolutely. Because okay. at that time, the. That's uh, really weird. Yeah, the nobles, the, uh, the big families, the royal families, they live a extravagant lifestyle uh, or extremely. Extremely extravagant lifestyle. Wow. So uh, some other people are trying to mark that they are different than those people who just right. born rich and not actually doing anything. Right. Okay. Yeah. Show their relationship to the common folk and, and, right, and right. to just normalcy, I guess, if these people were so yeah, extravagant. Yeah. Yeah. To serve okay. people um, tea rather than alcohol kind of uh, shows ah. that a certain piousness and humility of your nature. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. While the, uh, for Buddhism and, uh, uh, Taoism, they start to integrate tea in their daily practice and giving them more, uh, uh giving tea, uh, more meanings, like more like integrated right into their religious, Absolutely. religious symbology and things Absolutely. like not just a drink or not just part of their daily routine. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. Oh. But, however, all I just said mostly happened in the cells. So, okay. So all <laughs> that stuff that we saw in Mulan, pretty much, couldn't have happened or wouldn't have happened. Uh, not Hi. likely. Right, right. So in the north, as we mentioned earlier, that they are a 
nomadic dynasty, even though adopting the Han style uh, culture and uh, written language, they still have a very nomadic lifestyle in certain aspects, including right. drinking and eating, right? Meat, dairy, right. that's what they like. They even have a uh, name for tea, like uh, dairy slaves or water disasters. Oh, it's man. more have that despised tea. Yeah, I, d <laughs> oh, that, I don't even, I wish I never watched the movie now. <laughs> How can we watch such a movie? Right, right. So they, it wasn't their jam, really. No, no, they didn't like Give it. Give me some yeah. yak milk, I guess, or horse milk or whatever horse they milk, drank. Absolutely. They like yogurt, they like uh -huh. cheese, things like that. Well, they don't know what they were missing because this Bai Mudan is just this amazing. This Bai Atsilan. Oh, sorry, this Bai Atsilan. <laughs> it has the Bai. I got mixed up. <laughs> this Bai Atsilan is just a Bai. Oh, water disaster. What mm. a term. This is not a disaster. Not to mention here. at that time, because they're in the north, the uh, north uh, isn't where the tea grows. Of course. The tea mostly grows right. in the south, so they don't really have a local they tea They can't plant. make their own. No. Right. And with the war time, like oh, yeah. all the... Yeah, you mentioned this was a tumultuous time, right? Mm. There was tons of battles and wars, and mm. so trade was messed up, right? Mm. Mm. Un really unstable. Mm -hmm. So they might, they know tea probably, but it's not a big part of their life they don't drink they don't like it either right right not a big ceremony when you're going to meet the matchmaker yeah yeah back to the movie the whole right, setup right. was like just wrong mm -hmm. for sure they wouldn't do that uh, and also the little teacup like the mini one right. like what we will use as a tasting cup when they yeah, drink you really got the feel they were doing gongfu brewing yeah yeah, right? yeah the way they do the pot and everything yes yeah they will they will use a much bigger bowl to right. drink beverage from very northern little, style absolutely mm. absolutely and also the tea at that time would be more seasoned and more powdered mm -hmm. yeah so. that reminds me a lot of actually your tibet video right where they mm. they use the pot to boil it they put in tons of seasoning and um also they prefer meat and milk and yeah, yeah. You know, those kind of things so more akin to that than anything that was happening in the south and the southern kingdom. Huh? Absolutely, absolutely. So the movie, when you kind of watch it, it's, mm. a, it's just a movie, entertaining uh, right, movie. Right, right. That's really important yeah. to remember, right? So it's a... I think in this case though, like we mentioned earlier, it, because it uses real actors and because it's based on this historical ballad of Mulan, there is a tendency for, I think, for people to think, oh, this might be a good spot to pick up a few tidbits about um, uh, old Chinese culture. But I think what we've discovered is... Don't do that. Don't do that. So misleading. You can look at this world of Mulan as not much different from the world of Star Wars or the world of Lord of the yes. Rings. It's just a, it's a nice, lovely visual fantasy with a lovely story on it. Even the feminist aspect that they wove into it was fiction. Oh yeah, those absolutely. people are writers. So no, those enjoy... people are absolutely writer, mm. and uh, she is not the only girl who participated right, in right. army. There's a uh, more uh, you know girls in the armies as leaders and stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. a it's a fun story. Yeah, it's a fun story, and and Don Donnie Yen is in it, and it's beautiful. Yeah. So in general, beautiful. we enjoyed it, but yeah. I don't like how much. Uh, you know, the history mess up there. Right, not a good one to catch some uh, Chinese culture or Chinese yeah. history. Rather than, you yeah, actually have to have the alert, do not think too much about those mm. little details. Right on. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want to try the tea we've been drinking, which I can guarantee you is not a water disaster, <laughs> my most favorite croissant in a cup, we've got the link down below and you can find a ton of other fantastic Chinese teas on our website. Hope you enjoy those. And until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping.